the British colonies in the south, ranging from Casismo in the West Indies, uh, forced to produce crops and tobacco and sugar. Forced plantation agriculture led to large population enslavement of Africans in these colonies, a well thought out socialism and static between the wealth and white plantation owners and poor white black laborers. Key terms, uh, the armed rebels for the identification of servants who uprise the government of Virginia do not send an army to attack Native American troops under the front line, nor the Batman, cash drop, and also head right system. Key times and history themes. The motivation of colonization. The English colonization emerged along the eastern sea, seaborne of various reasons. People, primarily men, original, migrated to Virginia to find gold, silver, and quick profit. After the evidence that there were only no precious metal, the men came back to Virginia, Virginia to start uh, agriculture and crops like tobacco. Maryland, originally founded by the Safe Heaven Catholic, even became the Safe Heaven for all Christians. After successful captivity of the cash crops of the spike, the colonies and the, and the southern colonies were all found to continue creating large plantations, democracy in the uh, colonies. With both of the Sheffield and the southern colonies made up of major single young white men worked in the several servants. After the Bacon's Rebellion in the Shakespeare and the southern colonies moved towards using enslavement labor brought out to West Africa. The first labor system, colonies of the Virginia, was introduced servantly, in which the servants worked with the landowners in exchange for a pass of America because individuals or servants only worked for short periods of time and sometimes fought over the access to the land after the terms ended. Plantation owners switched using enslavement Africans as their primary resource of labor. Enslaved Africans became vital to the civilization of tobacco as they immune to many Europeans as deceased. As soon as 50% of the population in Shakespeare and the southern colonies, the economics in the colonies, both of the Shakespeare and southern colonies had rich soil uh, and temperature climates that could make a large hill, uh, plantation of farming possible. Uh, both of these regions are agriculture and economy based on uh, crops and drops, cash and tobacco, Indian and uh, cotton for trade. Establish a relative government in Virginia in the House of Burlington was established in 1619, uh, serving as a representative of the government. It started traditionally a representative of government and auto all out the English colonies. The agriculture with the Native Americans, early intersection with the Americans, remained somewhat corporal, but the land resources have been more scarce, more times, and came to American and violent eruption started. American civilization was in the halt. The Native Americans, with the government of Virginia, would not support colonists attempting to eradicate uh, Native Americans from foreign and settlements. Infrastructures were burnt down. Review questions. How is the English go? And what was the Spanish colonization? What does the democracy bring? And what does the democracy bring to the New England colonies? Write your reason down in using the intervention and the enslaved Africans as primary source labor. Comment section. Comment section. Comment section. Okay, so I'm done with one.
So I'm gonna give you another one because I'm nice, not just because it doesn't have enough time. Okay, this is way too long. Enslavement foreman of stone. Of the British Empire in uh, 18th century, every colonies and enslaved people from the South and in industry in the Car Charles Crown of South Carolina and northern ways of Boston. Slavery more than a labor system of the influence and in every aspect of the colonialism. I thought that the culture, not even the relationship, that endured gave the white colonists and agriculture and the sense of status. The English liberty gained greater and greater meaning of the contrary white people, and they have contrast to their status of free and class and enslaved black people in the British America. Slavery in the British Empire. Transporting enslaved Americans to another colony accelerated on the half of century of, of uh, 17th century in 1660. In the English monarchy, Charles de Gaulle uh, created the Royal African Company, trading with the enslaved uh, African goods. His brother, James XII, led his company to ascend up the throne. These kings, the royal African, enjoyed the monopoly of transferring people between 16,000 and 750. The company brought them with uh, 120,000 in captivity from the African coast, losing 20% from death, suicide, or diseases in the mail package of the African coast to Americans. The royal uh, economics had the uh, monopoly to end after a day. Many English merchants gained slavery and greeting and support. In the brutal middle passage, usually arrives as the West Indian of the Barbarossa for the transport to the mainland of the English colonies by company ships. While merchants in London, Bristol, Liverpool, they lined up all their pockets for African trafficking company during the nightmare misery of prosecution and dissolvation in slavery, people struck and adapt to new lives of reforming new communities and affirming the African customs, healing techniques, and also their enslavement and other things, deep of monsters and defying owner our runaway. People who escape the establishment. People who escape the establishment was called the moral and the communities that uh, successfully resisted the recapture and reform of their own groups, mostly our participants, from the way in keeping the British away. What do you think? Do you think slavery should be widely used in the British Empire, or do you think King Cars uh, and King James should not have financially from the uh, Royal African Company? Why or why not? Comment below and bye.